Okay. Shalom, shalom. Om yashala, koholoi mla, yahawa basim, yahushai, basim, rakahakadash. The honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. I just want to say goodbye to all the Akim and Akwap, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of your ability. This is Yachanan Akwap. It's coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edified by the Spirit. Another quick little video. I was just doing a video, and as it's uploading, now this pops up, and I'm like, well, damn. It says scientists want to implant prisoners with memories of their crimes that show the victim's perspective. This is in the Daily Mail. A scientist has unveiled a concept for prison of the future that he has claimed would fast track a criminal's release to minutes instead of years or decades. Called Cognify, the design would implant synthetic memories of a person's crime into their brain, but showing their victim's perspective. I don't know how the hell they would do that. But hey, hey, man, this tech, bro. The system could feature a VR-like device that displays AI-generated footage of the offense, compiled with a brain implant that induces emotional states like remorse or regret, feelings some individuals may not produce on their own. Damn. The concept developed by Hashem Al Ghali would ensure the long term effects of the therapy session by making the memories permanent. There are more than 1.7 million people currently in, um, incarcerated in the U.S. While officials have long said prison deters offenders from future crimes, more than 100 studies in 2021 found that it does not pre prevent people from reoffending. With this in mind, Al Ghali is looking towards the future with a prison he claims will help criminals learn from their past. Cognify could someday create and implant artificial memories directly into a prisoner's brain, a narrative's video stated. These complex, vivid, and lifelike memories are created in real time using AI generated content. While the rehabilitation would last for several minutes, it would seem like years to the criminal. Inside the criminal's mind, time will pass differently slower than in real life, making them experience years worth the video shared. Depending on the seriousness of the subject's crime or their sentence, the memory could be tailored to, to the rehabilitation needs of each subject. Pri prisoners undergo high resolution brain scanning that creates a detailed map of their neural pathways. The map allows the Cognify device to target specific brain regions responsible for memory, reasoning, and logical thinking. These tasks are found in the hippocampus, prefrontal cortex, and medulla, periotolo, and anterior cingulate cortex. God damn. It's lucky I probably butchered some of them, them words up. The device gets to work by showing the prisoner AI-generated memories of their crimes, which can include domestic violence, hate crimes, and discrimination, embezzlement, insider trader, theft, and fraud. In addition to visual effects, the technology could also stimulate a physical response by letting the offender feel the pain and suffering their, vi their victim endured. Some memories are designed to trigger consequences and trauma the video st um, stated, stated such memories could simulate the long-term consequences of violent actions such as the grief of a victim's family or the physical and emotional trauma endured by the victim and these people bro yeah same bro hey we, hey we in them times man the six minute and 22 second clip posted to um this guy's social media account Begins with a view of a white room and 19 pods against the wall. The pods open to, the pods open to reveal men standing inside each, each one, wearing the cognified device over their heads and what appears to be a display over their eyes and headphones over their ears, immersing them in the AI-generated memories. The artificial memories implanted by the cognify would be seamlessly 
incorporated into the existing neural networks of the brain, preventing the cognitive dissonance and ensuring the subject experiences the memories as if they were real, according to the clip. As prisoners endure the vivid memories of their crimes, a central computer collects data to understand what makes people carry out such offenses. However, the video noted that Cognify would feature encrypted storage for sensitive prisoner information and rehabilitation data. The Cognify concept could revolutionize the criminal justice system by significantly reducing the need for long-term incarceration and its associated cost. According to video, traditional prison requires substantial budgets for construction, maintenance, staffing, prison care, including food, health care, and rehabilitation programs by replacing extended prison sentences with brief, intensive rehabilitation through artificial memory implantation, the cost of maintaining prison facility and support supporting inmates could be drastically lower. Hey, well, hey, it's money at prisons, man. So I, I don't know how far you uh, you know this person is thinking that that's gonna go. <laughs> they make money on them prisons, man. They ain't about to allow you to you know to um to to you know do no shit with the minutes. You no, know, they get paid for people being in these these um, prison systems, man, for decades and decades at a time, man. A lot goes into that. That's a lot of a lot of bread. But the point that you know that I wanted to get. I seen this comment too, and somebody said uh, Minority Report. That's the first thing that I thought about when I seen the article. If you're familiar with that um that Tom Cruise movie where it was pre cop and it was basically you know, ah. Anyway, let me just grab, grab a quick scripture, and I literally just went into the subject just a uh, uh, just a, a, a minute ago. I was um. Up posting a, um, uploading a video and then this pops up on my phone. I'm like, God, man, look, we're living in some very, very interesting times, man. You get straight to the point again. Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. This thing is getting real, man. Esau got this technology. This technology is out here. It's already ready to go. It's just all a matter of, you know, how they're going to trigger it, how they're going to, um, you know, move along with it, man. Anything. I mean, this could be within fucking this week, bro. Next month. This thing is that close. Esau about to get down soon, man. So, hey, you know, just just be. Be aware. Be aware, man. I'm sitting here. I'm parked right here. I'm just looking up at this license plate. It's 144. <laughs> hey, but all praises to you. How about Shimmy? I was shy, man, for this, um, this knowledge, man. And also, let me get on verse 9 here um, in uh, Revelation 14 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. All right? So this this is gonna be the judgment, man, for anybody that 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 takes this man's um um device, man. You allow this man to put something like this in you. You know, and you see, and with a lot of those prisoners too, man. You know, you know, a lot of those prisoners, they they'll take a device if they're gonna give them, um, um, you know, uh, uh you know, uh, uh, time off. You know, like, hey, okay, you're free to go, but they're gonna have to take this. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, come on, bro. That that's some that's some serious keeping tabs on you right there, buddy. And he's already to he ready to get down, man. I you know I can't really see it being that much longer, man. Because again, you know that the talk to the World War Three, man, is is too active. Nuclear talk, nuclear talk, you know. And the Lord spoke of, he said, wars and rumors of wars would be, you know, one of the things that would be happening, you know, in the last days before it's coming. When the disciples asked him, you know, what would be going down? 
So it's only a few major prophecies left, man. You know, and you know, praying to Yahweh about Shema Messiah, man, for mercy. Mercy, mercy. Play, continue to pray to Yahweh for mercy, man. Mercy. Please have mercy on me, Yahweh about Shema Messiah. Help me to endure what's to come. As a matter of fact, let me get on um, that loop. 21 36 and this is a red letter so we know that this is Yahweh which the world ignorantly calls Jesus but his name is Yahweh which means he's the savior or deliverer in the paleo Hebrew and the true name of the father is Yahweh which means he exists with the existing one and it says um, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. That's something major, man. We should all be praying for on a day-to-day -day basis, man. I pray for this throughout the day. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Because this is about to get crucial out here, man. We, we're, 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 we're down to the wire in crucial moments, man. This shit right here is, hey, I mean, come on, bro. This is, I, um, it's got to be, I mean, it's in the Daily Mail, so it's got to be official. I, hey, man, hopefully this is a joke, but nah, hey, we, you know, we want, we, you know, we pray for these things to go ahead and speed on up, man, to happen. You know, go ahead and get, go ahead, Esau, man, and get down, man. Go on and do your thing. Let's see these comments, though, because one person did, Um, this person right here, they said, real life minority report crime fighting. Maybe just a VR headset treatment and not an implant. But knowing how your crime affects a victim makes sense to me. <laughs> this person says, what a con. Nowhere near that sort of tech. Not to mention, this is a, a direct ripoff of a Rod Sterling, Alfred Hitchcock, or Twilight Zone. <laughs> Recently saw for the fourth time. Hey, man. Hey, he got some stuff. You don't know what he out here dealing with, man. He got some stuff, bro. I don't know what this person thinking. It says, um, this person says it would be ideal if they saw and felt everything that they did to their victim and do it over and over and over again for the rest of their lives. Oh, man. Implant memories? Yep. Brainwashing. It wouldn't stop with criminals in prison. That would be the testing ground. Citizens would be next. Oh, yeah. Hey. You think? Anyway, though, man, I'm going to end out there. Things getting crucial, man. Hey, this man is out here. Come on, bro. This this, this is crazy. But, hey, we, you know, this man is about to come down with that great wrath, man, because he know that he had but a short time. So with that, hey, Kwame Yashala, man, be on the watch out, man. Continue to pray. It's all the while.